Tom Nelson here from the Outdoor Line. I just lost all the wire on my Cannon downrigger. So let's, let's show you how you start with a fresh spool and get this thing right back in service. So, so first off, I need access to the spool so I can get a new wire started. So to do that, remember these are reverse threads. We need to take our drag knob all the way off. And you'll notice there's a rubber o-ring keeper right there so i'm going to set that down on the gunnel now now we're going to take our phillips screwdriver and back off the side plate there goes the side plate set it right down in the gunnel so we're going to pull the spool off and that gives us access so now we can start a new spool of wire one thing you need to know about the spools of the new stx series is this is the contact this this ball bearing is the contact for your wire so i usually start off with some wd-40 before i lay the wire on there so we're going to go through the whole process for you and uh, keep it nice and connected to your positive ion control okay so we got our 400 foot spool i always use 400s and uh, our challenge is going to be keeping tension on this as we go through this process. So I'm just going to use minimum amount of spool, minimum amount of wire at a time. I'm going to come through and catch the boom roller. Then we got to work through the frame of the downrigger. Now we can come back to our workstation here and spool up the downrigger. You're, you're gonna see a couple holes in the downrigger spool. Can you get that? And we're gonna drop the wire through the hole and you're gonna see it coming out on the business end of the spool. But we need to capture it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an old school crimp and drop it onto that wire so it won't pass through the spool. Pass the wire through the crimp. Fold it over. And get a loop in there. And the reason we're doing this is we want to make sure the end of that spool has a positive stop. We're going to take our crimpers and bash that sucker down like that. Pull it right back on through. And there's the end of our cable right there. Tuck that back behind your business end and it won't be in the way of anything. So now we're going to go back to the downrigger again, taking care not to give any slack to this wire. And we're just going to reverse the process here. Taking our spool, getting it on the downrigger shaft. We're going to take our side plate side plate it's going to go right back on washer set remembering it's reverse thread snug it up now comes the fun part you're probably wondering why i've been wearing gloves it's for this reason there's a pretty fast retrieve speed on this downrigger and I need to keep tension on this spool and I'm going to watch how it gets laid on there. So I'm going to turn the downrigger on and I need to hold the up button and away we go. We want to make sure that the wire is passing through that ball hook because we're kind of using it as a bit of a level wind. And then we want to keep in mind that we are going into negative numbers. We're going to have to reset the counter on the downrigger so it's only going to be able to spool on 100 feet at a time. So once you get to that 100 foot point, the downrigger is going to automatically stop and we'll need to reset it. So the downrigger will stop every 100 feet and when it does, you've got to reset it because it won't go past negative 98. So the, the reason, the way to get past that is push and hold water zero, counter resets back to zero, and we can keep right on cranking our wire on. Once you get to the end of the spool, get all 400 feet on there, the only thing you have to do is uh, cut that little crimp off right there and terminate your downrigger and go fishing. I'm Tom Nelson. That's how you re-spool a cannon downrigger.